Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a solar storm that is hitting Earth right now, and the KP index has hit 7. So expect Aurora, and maybe people acting a little weird. How you doing? If you are the Hubble telescope, you're not doing so well. Fraser Kane letting us know the Hubble science instruments are malfunctioning, putting the telescope in safe mode. Now the Hubble was put up, I believe in like 95, the same year the PlayStation was, come out. And we are on PlayStation number five right now. And like 26 years later, we still only have the Hubble as our main space telescope. Now they're going to put up the James Webb Space Telescope on the 18th of December. And if it's 90 parts unfold like an origami experiment properly, we will have a second telescope. Although if this one breaks, then we've only got one again, which is weird for a modern spacefaring nation, you know? Arara. All right, the Ghost West is tracking this impressive low pressure approaching the Pacific Northwest today in the next parade of storms impacting the West Coast. That's right, we will have a wave after wave after wave pattern of storms that will be hitting Canada, Washington, Oregon, and the northern part of California over the next few weeks. And then we are looking out for a pretty dang big storm that will be hitting the rest of the United States around the middle of November. I'm talking about like 13th, 14th, 15th models keep drawing it up as a pretty sizable monster that will bring flooding, heavy rain, wind, possible hail, and snow and ice in some territories. And then we've got the juice is loose over Florida. You got Florida juice coming, says Mike's weather page. Euro totals here through Saturday. We're talking some areas getting up to, if not over, five inches. And then I've got my eyes on a storm that models keep drawing up by Europe. Watch down here. The hurricanes don't use, or whatever you want to call them, storms don't usually come up to the north and then come down to the south. Remember, we've got that major massive La Palma volcano erupting over here. And so, was it down here? Yeah, down here. And so to watch the storms, see most of them just go north and head north, but we have one towards the end of November or third week that goes like north and models keep showing it going south like it wants to head towards the volcano. Watch that. See that? What is that? That is weird. And multiple models have been showing some big giant storm going towards the volcano. That can't be good news, man. That can't be good news. So yeah, this could definitely be a very interesting and wild November. So buckle up. And also, it is best to stock up for an extra month or two on food and supplies because, you know, like power grids have been crappy, things have been strange. And also, China put out a warning urging people to stock up on food to have like an extra year supply of food on hand. A statement from China's government urging local authorities to ensure there was an adequate food supply during the winter and encouraging people to stock up on essentials prompted some concern online. New York Times, China urged families and local governments to stock up on daily necessities to prepare for COVID lockdowns as winter approaches. The country has enforced stringent restrictions as part of its zero COVID policy. I know some of my viewers get super triggered if I mentioned COVID, but I want to remind you again, I'm your planetary defense commander, dude, and everybody's tired of the damn virus. I would like to stock up on stuff, um, but my money's really low right now because I do a fundraiser every single month at your planetary defense commander to stay in business. If you'd like to contribute to keep Thor News up and running right now, I think one of your best bets is um, this, sending me a, hey, thank you on your nine-year anniversary letter if you want to in contribution. The PayPal seems wonky right now. And then I got a Venmo and a Cash App. Those seem to be working. And a Patron, only $1,130 left to raise. Yeah, things have been weird because the guys who've been trying to sell you a mini Ice Age and a Grand Solar Minimum have been throwing major temper tantrums for the last few months. And they're pretty dang good at hackers, at hacking. Way better than they are about making predictions about the sun 
or an ice age, bro, or even making predictions about the coronavirus because Ben said the virus is no worse than the flu. Obviously, that is not true as we've surpassed over 5 million people dead from the virus now, and Colorado is so overwhelmed with coronavirus cases that hospitals are now allowed to turn away new patients. So, you know, things are crazy, bro. Aurora. Things are crazy, and they're probably only going to get crazier. You know what I'm saying? Mesmerizing yet destructive, the La Palma volcano is showing no signs of slowing, entering its seventh week of activity on the Canary Islands. 2,600 buildings have been destroyed, and there have been 35,000 tremors and earthquakes. And I want to remind you all again, as I give out major warnings ahead of time, I warned about the Saturn Uranus Square that came around February 14th. At that time, we had a major winter storm, and the power grid in Texas went down. We lost about 400 people died because of that. Then the second one, the Saturn Uranus Square, we had around June, July, and we had a major heat wave hit Canada. Over a thousand people died. I'm putting out a major warning for Christmas Eve. We're going to get hit with some type of next boss level storm around Christmas Eve. I pretty much guarantee it. And so I can call shots for months out and then have them turn out. But man, you guys can't even predict a grand solar minimum when that's going to happen or a mini ice stage. You know, it's been like six years. Of and then that whole JFK is going to like show up. That didn't happen. Jeez Louise, bro. And then remember when I told you that cryptocurrency would crash when Jupiter went into Pisces in May of 2021? It did. And then I said it will go way back up when Jupiter retrogrades back into Aquarius at the end of July. And the coronavirus would go, would go back up, which it did. And so I'm telling you all again that cryptocurrency will crash around the middle of December. That's an almost guarantee you can take to the bank. Um, so if you're in it, be sure and um, get out of it in middle of December. And then you can just rebuy after it crashes. Will you get a major uh, economic collapse? Maybe. You have ever you have the situation in China where they have a $300 billion real estate con company go belly up. You now had Zillow collapse kind of because they were buying houses just to flip them. Apparently that business... Um, crap the bed and so yeah we could be seeing a really rough winter uh, as far as like economically for markets and many things combined with all the like uh, supply chain issues and people are so entrenched in the whole damn political thing that nobody wants to work together these are strange days bro Aurora and then you got a possible major swell wind event with rain up the entire east coast this weekend while temperatures continue to drop in the northeast the threat for snow will persist around the great lakes mainly across higher elevations then you have people always warning us that artificial intelligence is going to kill us all yeah dada boo florida wave master warning that you have a major possible swell event which could bring a whole lot of wind as well this weekend to the coast we'll have to watch how this storm exits aurora you got a major cool down coming over the next few days. Temperature departure from normal over the next five days. That is a lot of blue from up in the northeast. We're keeping tabs on a possible Christmas comet. Exciting news. A much anticipated comet is brightening and still might become 2020's brightest comet, which really isn't saying much. Comet Leonard will reach perihelion around January 3rd, but its closest appointment point to earth approach will be on december 22nd and so hopefully the holiday season will be filled with romantic comedies you know but you know they say comments are omens for bad things and the last thing we need is more bad things now bro james wilson letting us know the epac is still churning and burning hey you got some meteor showers to look out for here was a huge deal. The U.S. government just added the NSO group to a federal blacklist, saying its spyware had been used to maliciously target government officials, journalists, activists, academics, and embassy workers around the world. So yeah, it seems like a big deal that the U.S. added two Israeli firms, including spyware company NSO, to trade blacklist for supporting sp supplying tools to foreign governments that were used in ways to threaten the rules-based international order. Speaking of the supply chain, 
the normally expensive fruit, we're talking about avocados here, is so cheap because they have so many now that people in Australia are feeding it to the pigs. Man, owner pigs know how to make avocado toast? Probably not. She is letting us know that Jupiter looks like a lizard in radio. What? Yeah, today she learned that Jupiter, this majestic gas giant, the biggest planet in the solar system, the chunkiest planet in the solar system, looks amazing in optical light. It looks ferocious in infrared light. It looks gorgeous in ultraviolet. And it looks like a lizard in radio. Oh, she would be Kirsten Banks. Jim Morrison, who is also Sagittarius like me, used to say, I am the Lizard King. I can do anything. I wonder if that's related. But yeah, Florida and the coast over there, you got gnarly waves coming. So hang ten and surf's up, dude and dudettes. Wanda's chaos magic seems like a dud over in the open Atlantic, so saith Mark Suddeth, just in different words, I guess. Russia will impose a six-month quota on some fertilizer exports to safeguard local supplies as nutrient prices soar. Well, that's bullshit. Expensive bullshit. Russia's getting in on the hypersonic sea-based missile race in 2022. It's the most wonderful time of the year. But yeah, Elon Pinkas saying, hey, this was big news when the U.S. Commerce Department accused Israel cyber firms NSO and Kenny Drew of harming U.S. national security. So yeah, bro, things are just weird and crazy all over. Oh, and hey, you get the parks closed in Costa Rica, which is just south of California and in Mexico, after Turrialaba volcano eruption. So that counts as our um, November advent calendar volcano eruption of the month. But there's still a lot of ground left in the month. So prepare for shit to get crazy, especially around the 10th. The 10th is one of our major doom dates. And then there's a whole lot of speculation about the lunar eclipse. We can talk about that later, though. Around the 18th, though. Hey, it's always darkest before the dawn. Winter is coming. I think spring 2022 will be much better. So stock up. Getting a good mental frame of mind, prepared for weirdness over the next few months, but know that things will improve, I'm pretty sure, in the spring of 2022. So hang in there. And I'm going to stay positive and hope and pray for miracles. You guys save my ass every single month. Hopefully that will be the case. I do believe I've kicked ass all year and for the last two years, last three years, last few years, man, I've been shooting you guys straight. Whether you wanted to hear it or not, I've done a good job with almost all of my predict predictions. I've stayed cool, and hopefully I'll get my sense of humor back. So, I'm going to need a miracle, and that miracle is you. Like I said, I probably snail mail is the best way to go right now, because they have just been tightening the screws on me. They don't want to, me reminding people that we are not in a grand solar minimum, and all the evidence backs that up. We're not in a mini ice age. All the evidence backs that up. Anywho, they must be paid by ExxonMobil, that's my guess. I mean, how else did you get like 12 white dudes together in like 2016? And they were like, we we're all going to sell everybody your GSM all the time. That's just nuts, bro. Anywho, but yeah, if you'd like to try to make a PayPal donation, Venmo's working, Cash App's working. Remember, if you make a donation, I will put it on the list and I will thank you. Only got $1,130 left to raise. You're going to need a miracle, especially before Thanksgiving. You know, okay, but thank you very much to Asteroid Fight Club for everything you guys have been tremendous. Thank you, Cody. Thank you, JCR. Thank you, DWP. Thank you, Texas Angel. Thank you, Wizard of Oz. Thank you, Alexis. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you, Richard. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, Glenda. Thank you, Arnica. Thank you, Light Soul. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Marlita. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Ann. Thank you, KJ. Thank you, Max. And thank you to everybody cool out there. It has been a wild few years, but we have survived, and we will probably survive what's coming next. Okay, stay cool. Talk to y'all soon. God bless everyone.